Oh my god, your poor dad. Welcome back to your poor dad. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode. And honestly, you guys are in for a real treat this episode. Yeah, we are so excited. We have Nate and Lauren from The Ultimatum, which is Netflix's hottest new show. And um, our whole conversation with them was such a delight. They are such a down-to-earth couple. I feel so good after like being around them. Yeah, we are definitely going to be their friend. Yeah, and I think if you were on the fence about being Team Nate and Lauren after this, you will definitely be Team Nate and Lauren. Yep, 100%. So absolutely, fucking in the words of Lauren, absolutely. Um, so we're really excited because this episode is actually being sponsored by Zate, and Zate is really amazing. First of all, it's an Austin-based dating app, and we are Austin-based girlies. So and that's, we are looking to date. And we are looking to date. At least two of us are. So the reason why I love Zay is because it is an activity-based um, app. So what you can do is you create a Zate in the app. So you go in and you say, who wants to get coffee at... Um, Mozart's Mozart's and then people on the app can reply to that Zate and so you're picking people who actually have the same interests as you so like I'm kind of like a bougie bitch with food so I would be like so my Zate would be Uchi happy hour since we just talked about Uchi happy hour so I'm attracting people who have the same interests as me. Or if I'm an active person, um, do you want to meet me at Ladybird and we do a little walk around the park? Or the lake? yeah. And the reason I love Zate now is because I previously went on a date one time to Radio where I ordered a beer and he ordered a cold brew and then said, "I don't drink alcohol." Um, and I immediately was like, "I wish I would have known that. Wouldn't have gotten this beer." But now with Zate, I can put that in there ahead of time like who like I want to go like get drinks at a dive bar or I want to go get drinks at a patio bar so I can match with somebody who has similar interests with me and wants to also get a drink and not just a cold brew right so and I love it our dear sister is um if you've listened to our previous episodes Paige is back on the horse back on the <laughs> horse baby and she's Tired of dealing with bad first dates because if you listen to our last episode, the bust one episode, mm -hmm. um, she's looking to not have those kind of dates anymore. So that's why she's yeah. going to be going on Zates instead. Yep. You won't be choosing any first dates at a baseball stadium. Yeah. That's, nope. that's three Never hours away. <laughs> Never would have yep. matched. Yeah. So if we're lucky and if Paige is down, maybe she will document some of our her Zates that she does. But um it's up to her. But definitely, if you're in the Austin area, check out Zate because it's the best dating app so far for me um, because you can connect on the activities instead of just by someone's looks, honestly. Yeah. And honestly, I have to brag about my Zate name because when you create a Zate, you pick a place and then you name the Zate and then people can react to your Zate. And um, there's a cute little place here in Austin called Better Half. So my Zate was looking for my better half Ooh. at better half. Wow. So, clever. Yeah. Whoa. Cute. And if you want to date one of us, we're both on Zate. You know, Bailey has a boyfriend, so whatever. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> She's breaking hearts every day. Yeah. So if you want to date uh, Paige and I, then get on Zate. And please enjoy Lauren and Nate. Oh, it rhymes. I <laughs> Welcome back to Your Poor Dad. This is an extra special episode because we have Nate and Lauren from Netflix's The Ultimatum. Woo! Thanks Woo. for having us. <laughs> That's our celebration sound. <laughs> um, okay, so I had some friends ask me, they're like, you're having Nate and Lauren on the show? Like, how did you get these big guests? And I'm like, well... <laughs> Not through us being cool, but from Paige knowing Nate. So can yep. you guys explain? Because there's a... Well, Nate lived with one of my ex-boyfriends in college. Mm -hmm. So you know what I would love to know? Um, <laughs> did that boyfriend, did he ever like have any crazy things to say about me? Ooh. Actually, you were pro uh, probably one of the only college girlfriends that... We didn't really hear any negative things about. Nice. Oh. I assumed that. I don't know why. Jade asked me that today. She's like, does he have any like 
crazy stories or do you have any crazy stories about him? I was like, no, Mm -hmm. like, no. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know what my ex might have said about me. So your ex was also the good type to where it doesn't really shit on people. You know what I mean? After a relationship. There's nothing i wish him all the best i'm glad that he's like there's i don't wish all of my exes the no best, and right? I, I wish i wish that ex all the best and as a sister i'm like that's that ex is on the good side of yeah. the line the few yeah the very few of your ex the few the proud but yeah then um years later we worked at the same company mm-hmm. and yeah. honestly there's a connection there and I was like, I'm going to shoot my shot. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so here we are. I saw Thank it. Well, you. out of all the craziness and DMs that we're getting, you see a familiar face. You're like, all right, cool. Yeah. I can actually talk. I'll to respond you. to one. Yeah. Are you guys getting like crazy DMs right now? Oh my God. It's slowing down now. Finally, for oh, sure. Good. What's it's been your favorite down. one? Describe favorite. Thing. <laughs> like, like this is wild. <laughs> what are they talking about? Like the most evil one because Ooh. there's like oh, most okay. evil ones, most crazy. Like it's it's a full spectrum from people telling us that you know, hey, if you ever have kids, I'm gonna come kill your kids. <gasps> what? To your parents should have aborted you. Oh my god! All the way to you know, girls sending me nudes. You know, it's like the whole that. entire spectrum. So <laughs> see, I would have thought that you would get like dick pics. No. But you, so you're getting None? the nudes. She, yeah. So well, he got a butthole picture. A I got butthole, a butthole picture. A butthole picture from a couple. It was actually yeah. Was it both? Was, was there one of them holding it open? <laughs> so it was like it was weird. It was like the I guy felt like had it was his finger. She was bent over, and the well, guy like had his fingers in her. And well, it was like close. Was... It was close to what, what <laughs> I felt like was like the girl was like, "Hey, I want to send nudes to these people." And he was like, "Well, I have to be in it." She was like, well, the minimum or most you could be in it is just your hand. So he oh, just got yeah. his hand in there. And so he gave her the, the approval to send it. Like, um, oh, wow. Have you ever gotten a butthole picture before? <laughs> no, that's my first. Have We're like you, looking at have Lauren. Have guys, has he have, ever gotten one? Well, yeah. like, yeah. She's like, yes, seriously, have you? guys ever sent a butthole picture before? That's new to me. I don't. That yeah, no one ever no. asked me for a butthole pic. So I have never. Maybe you should yet. just initiate it and like. And just like Send. shoot my shots. It works. I don't know. <laughs> they were That's definitely wild. Freaky. That is really it's good for them. Crazy. So, have you gotten any like maybe not butthole crazy, but like I so I don't really open the ones that have pictures on it because mm-hmm. I'm like, smart. I don't care to see the penises, but yeah, I have definitely had a lot of girls just kind of shitting on me for being with Nathan, like <gasps> not attacking me personally but it's usually just girls who are really mad at me for saying yes to nathan and for being with him that's so really interesting crazy. yeah yeah oh my god i think okay. what you probably get the most is like for shit talking is people saying like oh you're stupid like I'll yeah stupid. they tell me <laughs> i'm stupid they were like you know you had a choice you didn't have to say yes and i'm like well no shit yeah like, like, i'm obvious. very that's aware why you're there. <laughs> <laughs> that is but, so crazy yeah i mean i guess we'll probably get into yeah like we'll that. get into it we want um okay so because i think i looked at your instagram story and to you guys have known each other for a really long time right oh, we went to the same high school oh you did yeah. oh my high god school in college yeah yeah wow so, so we were friends wow. back then and same groups of people we weren't like close but mm-hmm. we'd hang out and party with the same groups of people um Hung out a few times in college, but it was really after college that we started okay. actually hanging out and talking. Yeah. Me so, trying to woo her. That's cute. <laughs> how long have you guys been together? For three... How, like three and a half November, years. November was three years, so I think three and a half years. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah, you guys were um, one of the couples that were together the longest. So you... that mm. I don't know. Like, we'll get into it. But like, again, it was like you guys had the most like solid relationship. Yeah. Yeah, and and oldest couple, which is the funny thing. Yeah, we were the oldest. Well, well, that was the so what happened with the whole age thing? So I actually had one of the producers reach out to me um, and completely apologized and was like, "Hey, this was actually like a real age discrepancy. There was no ill intent behind this. Mm -hmm. We didn't do it on purpose." We're so sorry. We're working on fixing it. Just know that like it's a little bit more of a process than you think because. The show still needs to be kept on Netflix, but they still have to get that old version off and update the new version Mm -hmm. without making the, you know, without making people unable to view the show. So 
it took a little bit but i think someone sent me a dm on friday and they were like hey your age is corrected so oh um, yeah it's corrected now because they had you at 26 but you're 30 yeah i was 29 when we filmed okay. so they want to make sure and show the age that you were when filming but mm-hmm. they definitely did knock three three years off well of i mean a age. six so. and a nine you know just <laughs> a little bit upside down like, yeah. that's what i like to say i'm like okay i guess they just got the six and nine mixed up but okay yeah <laughs> i so should we just get into the ultimatum yeah sure. okay because for me, you guys seemed like the most solid couple going into it. Like all these, and maybe it's because your age too. I just felt like you guys didn't have like a ton of like things to work on. And it wasn't like all the younger ones. It seemed like they just wanted to be married. And mm-hmm. like you guys were actually working on an actual issue. This one was all the younger people were like, I want to be re- married right now. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's why it was so hard to see people not take our relationship seriously because I was like when when we started filming we had already lived together for a year and a half and Mm -hmm. we weren't having relationship problems it was just the children thing and so I just kind of felt like we were on a different playing field than most of the other couples because I was like this problem is just so different than what everyone else's problems were so I did kind of feel like we were different in that way and then also being the oldest ones also I kind of felt like we were kind of the outcasts as a couple like just like our problem was different our age was different so well I think we were interesting we were maybe the only ones that from start to all the way through we always said like hey just like even whenever we were getting I guess recruited for coming on the show every time we talked to someone we always let them know like hey we don't have an issue like moving forward us getting engaged like we are going to do that. You know what I mean? Mm. Like we want to be together. We're trying to, you're asking if we have a major relationship question and yeah, here it is. It's us having kids, but do we love each other? Do we want to spend the rest of our lives together? That was never really a a question. So we always said that too on the show. Yeah. And that's, that's a good point too. Cause like you guys never questioned if you wanted to be together. And I feel Mm -hmm. like a lot of other people were questioning like, well, cause some people had like trust issues, mm -hmm. like prior things happen. Like, and those are, big issues that like you need to work through or if like you actually like your significant other or not like (laughs) those are all things like you got to figure out but like you guys it was just like going into it it's like super solid yeah you know like you could you trusted each other you loved each other like everything was there um but so going back to like when you were talking about being being recruited like what made you guys want to like put yourselves out there and like go on the show (laughs) well (laughs) Uh, Nathan didn't really want to. (laughs) (laughs) Surprisingly. It was, it was me and, um, we were sitting, I have like the most vivid memory of this still. We were sitting on the couch. This was during quarantine when it was like locked down. We were probably drinking margaritas at two o'clock on a Wednesday or something. Been there. (laughs) And, um, I just remember something told me like check your archive messages because I never did and I was like I forget that archive messages is a thing I clicked on it and there was um just like a casting promoter in there and she's actually really cool her name is Ashley and I like her a lot and I (laughs) we still keep up with her um but she sent a flyer and was like let me know if this pertains to you and it did Because the kids thing actually was like an issue with us. It just wasn't Nathan giving me like a bold, blatant ultimatum. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yeah, this sounds like us. And then she gave us a call. And then just months and months later, they were like, all right, you're hired. Basically, here's a contract. It was weird. Yeah, it was kind of like how how we handled it. Because I was at first, I was like, no, like I'm not going to do that. Nathan didn't want to do it. I don't even (laughs) watch reality shows. Like, why would I want to be on one? Like, no um lauren was really passionate about it, like was interested in it for sure i'm a curious and human yeah, being. Like, we kind of always was. have the vibe to where i mean even for, it's kind of why i took the leap to to start my own business and left indeed is get yourself out of your comfort zone if something mm-hmm. is pushing you yeah. out of your comfort zone then you probably should lean in rather than running away from it right yeah so we always kind of had that so that was the main thing that i guess she was poking on me for too and of course that's gonna make me be all right let's keep going (laughs) so we just at that time i told her and and we agreed like look we're not gonna put effort is bad we're not going to 
push this agenda but if they want to talk to us again yeah we'll talk with them we just kind of let them come to us so, like, that's what it was we we're just like okay like i i just went with the flow and nathan was hesitant ended up just being like all right let's just go for it then and we're curious i was like how many times in your life are you gonna get asked to be on netflix yeah never he so was like, literally we have never to in my it. life that's like yeah. a life-changing fun thing especially to do with somebody you trust and love yes and it's not just you it's like you guys are a yeah. unit yeah. And I, I think, though, if um, if if we would have had the uh, the perception of what the show is going to be then, then I probably would have more. Oh, I wouldn't have done it. it. What did, I, well, that's what, did what you... I wanted to know. Like, how do you feel that you were like portrayed? Like, do you think it was accurate or just like pushing the story? Or did you think like... that the entire show was going to be something different? Like. It was so. I mean, that's that's the first thing, right? So getting up to it, um, it definitely was something different to us, right? Um, kind of how it was talked about to us. Again, whenever you're going through this, it's like you can't really get very much details. Even the the people that we're talking to don't really have that much detail on it. It's just here's mm -hmm. as much as you, go find someone. You know, uh, it's a first brand new show, so you don't have anything uh, to yeah. any precedent, but. It was almost pitched to us like a like wife swap, right? Yes. Do y'all remember oh, wife swap? Yes. Yeah. Paige and I been watching it yes. so much. We love wife yeah. swap. Like King Curtis, that wife swap. <laughs> yeah. so that's what we thought she it was going to be like. Little, those little shoes. <laughs> exactly. So that's that's what they would tell us. Like they're you know, hey, it's we're we did Love Is Blind mm -hmm. to start new. Uh, so you knew it was the same. Exactly. Show. Yeah. We knew okay. that, and kind of how it was talked to us, or how I heard it was talked to us was. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, it's, it's, you know, we, we did love is blind for singles getting together. And now we want to show that we can make couples who just need to take one more step to, to be together forever mm -hmm. to work with them, to get them there. Right. And then yeah. here's how we're going to do it. At the end of the day, we want everyone to be happy and uh, marry. And our goal is to have everyone, you know, get engaged, get married, and, and move forward together, right? Yeah. That's kind of the case. <laughs> yeah, they, they did we, not the, want the show, we, get married. I mean, yeah. uh, the show, whenever, for the longest time, I'm talking about pretty much the whole time, the show was uh, Austin Couples Project, right? It's called okay. Austin oh. Couples Project. It was, mm -hmm. you had to be in Austin, right? You uh, uh, be together for a minimum a, of one and a half, one, one and a half, or one two and a half years, years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and yeah, they, so they called it the Austin Couples Project. Yeah. And it was the the week before filming, right? The week before filming that we heard, they're like, oh yeah, so the the working title right now, it's not official yet, but we're going to call it the ultimatum. So and that was actually- one of y'all is going to issue an ultimatum. One of you is dragging your feet going into marriage and the other person's ready. And they were like, so Nathan's issuing the ultimatum. It was almost just kind of like- They told you who Yeah, was. and Nathan was like, oh- wait i'm i'm doing what so <laughs> yeah it was we he's like wait why do i have to be <laughs> yeah he's like so i'm the bad guy okay. <laughs> yeah. i mean so i i i even kind of remember it differently i remember them talking about like so y'all are issuing an ultimatum and whatever um but for me whenever i really realized that i was it was probably just me like blanking out on some call that we had but um it was on camera the first time so i was in there uh, on my first interview, I had my like interview outfit on. <laughs> and I've already moved into the uh, over there in the hotel uh, that we're staying at, and you know I'm in the the big interview room that y'all have seen. And one of the first questions I get is Nathan. So tell us why you issued the ultimatum. And I'm like, tell me. He's like, uh, tell you why uh, I did what? <laughs> so what did I do? I didn't know. I was like, wait, I issued. They're like, yeah, yeah, you issued the ultimatum. I was like, oh. Okay, uh, I guess. You're like, you actually, Lauren told me I was going on this show, and now yeah. I'm issuing. Like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I feel so responsible for this mess. You're like, let me talk to Lauren. I need to see. Um, so, how do you guys feel about it being filmed like in Austin? Like, does that did that make you feel like more comfortable, or were you like, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, there wasn't we didn't see a lot of filming like outside of the show. Like, there was a couple places I was like, up oh, upstairs, Caroline. Like, whatever, you know, things like that. Um. I guess the reason I'm asking is like, were you like, oh, is someone that I know going to see me? Or did they keep that like pretty like strict? Like yeah, to just I, like filming. I was pretty worried because 
you can't just they like every venue that we were at they couldn't just like shut it out to you know other patrons so it was weird because I remember on one of my dates with Randall I actually kept talking into my mic and I was like guys I'm pretty sure this is my old manager sitting to the (laughs) left of us it didn't end up being her but it looked identical to her and I was like and there's people filming so people had their phones out and it looked like they were like sneakily like recording and so they had to flag it because obviously for like copyright or whatever purposes they they have to like flag things like that so they have to make sure that people around us weren't like videoing yeah so it was yeah it was I was on edge the whole time because I was so scared that people we knew were gonna like run up and be like Lori yeah. what are you doing here with this random Why dude yeah with this man? yeah that's <laughs> what that's what I, that's what I would be wondering about too so I, I was like is was that comforting because you're like I know this city or was it like uh oh, am I gonna run into somebody I know and then not be able to answer their questions, but they're asking questions and it's uncomfortable. Honestly, both, but I think <laughs> more so it was like I was a lot happier being in Austin, knowing that we're close to home, knowing that you yeah. know um, that definitely made it easier just to be mm-hmm. familiar with your surroundings, especially whenever you're in an area that like are in an environment that is so unfamiliar, right? Yeah. You have like all these cameras pointing at you and you're like, or oh, at least I'm in Austin. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, at least you're not in LA like doing that. That would have been way worse. We, oh, we filmed sure. the reunion there and that was oh, my yeah. first time ever being in LA and I was like, I am so overwhelmed. This city is so gigantic. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. <laughs> I always say that Austin is like the best version of LA. Like it has everything, like, like the best people, like better food, just like more chill. Love it. Don't yeah. don't um, announce that part that we don't want more people to move here. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm happen. part of they've the bus. No. Yeah. They're already here. I'm grandfathered in, though, because they've been here for yeah. a while. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. And you're cool. Oh, um, <laughs> thanks. Aww. Don't feed her ego. I know. I'm like, <laughs> she doesn't need it. Um, um, okay. okay. Sorry, you go. you go. Actually, Bailey, how about, how about you go? Well, left you, girl. Talk. Left girl. <laughs> left girl. Oh, no, I'm on She's the, right. the one that, like, everyone on TikTok and, like, YouTube is always like, why don't you guys let that one talk? And we're like... Because this is just our dynamic. Because she just never she speaks. Never I speak. just listen. I soak it all in. Whatever. She's the intellect. Um, <laughs> earlier you guys said that you felt like the black sheep because you were like the oldest, like the most solid, whatever. I was wondering, and other people asked too, why didn't you get a bachelorette party and why weren't you at Alexis's? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I have no idea how to answer that. I wasn't invited. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. So it, that's, that's <gasps> more outside of someone like Alexis or Hunter decided. Oh yeah, it That's wasn't that, up to it Alexis. About right. I don't think so. Show, it was you know? it was up to the producers. Um I think that once they saw that we just didn't really trust in their um experience yeah, that uh-huh. they were like, "Oh, get them out of here." And mm-hmm. so I think that it was like very intentional to like not tell us that there was going to be a bachelorette or invite us back or anything cuz they were just like, all right, you guys said that you don't trust in this process, so get out. Like, all <laughs> right, you guys are too Which happy. Which is understandable. This is I mean, I mean everything, like reality shows are, are storylines, right? Mm-hmm. It's not your, your, if you think that you're seeing what anyone on a reality show actually is like, you're totally mistaken, yeah. right? There, there's still a storyline put in it. That's why you have producers. That's why yeah. there's a whole production company and that makes it happen. it has to be dramatic. You know? It has to be dramatic. And, and so part of that storyline for us unfortunately was that you know hey let's we're already we're already making this as this is what their proposal is going to look like right Mm -hmm. we can't then bring them back and show like that they're happy you know what i mean that it worked it's it's part of their story and i mean for me i was one thinking well i assumed i was like okay well the reason they brought alexis back they needed alexis to be the one to stir the pot between the other girls like at the bachelorette sure. party and like She's once that already star. happened it was like okay we don't we already did that we don't need like another bachelorette party to like do it again yeah okay and so now that we're talking about this why was everyone so pissed about your guys engagement but they weren't pissed about theirs wait before we yes but also one step before that big cheese colby like oh. <laughs> come on are you kidding me like we that that's our favorite thing to say oh, to yeah. each other big it's cheese really... why how <laughs> I need to I know. I mean, so some of the background of it honestly isn't that exciting. It actually started with Colby, right? So um, whenever we were finally able to like all talk around each other and everything like that, uh, I remember this was at the very beginning of filming too, like the very beginning. 
Um, we're all like talking, getting to know each other. Colby ends up making, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he was basically trying to make a dad joke, uh, talking about himself. He's like, oh yeah, like give myself a nickname, you know, uh, but it's too cheesy and like just waited and we're like, <laughs> oh, and then so, you know. He was like, cause you get it, Colby, Colby cheese. And so, <laughs> and so, so that's literally Type how... of cheese and that's when he's just in then so I was like, all right, big cheese. Wait, that is even better that he gave himself. He gave himself. I mean, we ran with it for sure. Like he teed himself up and we ran with it. It was just so funny because like, I mean, obviously that whole episode is like at the table. Then it's like the confessionals, whatever it's called. Like those like one-on-one -on -one yeah. interview things. And I'm like, honestly, you did get the short end of the stick like that sure. episode. And it like kills me but it was just so funny and then you're like and then big cheese colby over here it's like, like you're having a serious conversation and then big cheese colby happens and i was like i need a minute before i continue watching this like are you kidding me and no one's like no one's saying anything like i thought that was hilarious i did too i loved it and i was i realized it when we were recording yeah, hats off to you i was you like put it together colby jack cheese mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. <laughs> but this is so much better that he gave himself it's like it's cheesy. that's like on par for what i imagine colby yeah <laughs> okay so back to the engagement um okay, yeah. yeah why how do you guys feel about how everyone else reacted so well first i think like to, to lead up to that right mm -hmm. again we told you like how we got on the show but building up to that whenever we're on the show everything you're learning as you're going like you're mm -hmm. learning what this actually is going to be like as you go right there's a lot of things that we're hearing for the first time too like the uh trial marriage thing n did not had no clue <gasps> oh my God. that it, that we were doing a trial marriage you know what i mean with someone um, else for yeah. three weeks so and I, I i remember whenever we so we'd have like meetings whenever we're not filming with like production and it's all the cast you know and they're just telling us like all these things like don't do this do this you know, listen to me, do what I say. Um, but I remember hearing, I can't remember exactly who it was. It might've been maybe April, someone, someone on there. But I remember hearing someone gossip about like, yeah, like I told, you know, my guy that like, he's allowed to kiss, but like, that's it. You can't do anything else. And me and Lauren are looking at each other like, allowed to do what? Like, no, we're not. <laughs> I was like, we're not over on the same my page. dead body. Or yeah. yeah, like <laughs> not the else. same page, you know? Yeah. Um, so you're, you're going through this and you're like learning more and, and me and Lauren are still are still talking. Whenever we're, we're all in our own hotel rooms, we're still talking and everything like that on a regular basis. Um, and it was just getting more and more like, hey, what what the hell did we get into? You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like, what is going on here? Um, and we had people that we were basically like, hey, I don't want to be with this. If we're doing something going forward, I don't want to be with this person. We both had those people and um fast forward to you know the choice night it just was on top of everything else on top of us like wanting to hey let's there's no way we're figuring out an actual problem here you know what I mean? yeah, that's right. what we felt that's what we felt um and we don't have questions on everything else right so at the end of the choice night it was kind of like okay now we're also basically being paired up with each of us, the person that we didn't want to be paired up with, you know what yeah. I mean? Like the one, like we're like, hey, no, I don't know. Um, so, because by default, what was going to happen was um, I was going to be with Colby, even though my pick was Hunter. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't see that part, but my pick was Hunter, and Alexis's pick was Nathan. And so, Hunter proposes to Alexis, and there's only four people left, and that's me, April. Yeah. Nathan and Colby so by default it was going to be me and Colby and Nathan and April and you don't see this but um during a one-on-one -on -one, the night before Nathan had told the camera that he didn't want to live with April and mm -hmm. that day at dinner I had told um Colby like I kind of talked about it in front of everyone why at I that didn't table want on the choice night. yeah at choice night I had talked about why I didn't want to live with Colby mm -hmm. oh. um and so it became very aware that that's what was about to happen and nothing against them. Like mm -hmm. we are, we're cool with every single one of the cast members, but they just, we didn't want to live with those people. And so I guess for Nathan, it like became very aware that that's what was about and to very happen. very real. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh yeah, we've kind of been talking about this is going to happen. And it's like, oh shit, this is like yeah. about to happen. This like that's real. scary. Exactly. Who is and scary? for what, yeah. you know, like, mm -hmm. 
kind of like what are you going to learn from being like okay this is who we then like this is who I know I'm not gonna learn from so like yeah yeah what's I'm, the point I'm living with April in a hotel room for three weeks and now I know I don't that think even April would get along well <laughs> for they, three weeks they She's- both just talk a lot <laughs> love you so much but Nathan and April both just talk a lot and so we were joking about it, it was like y'all just would have been over talking each other like fighting for the limelight I feel like a lot like and so screaming at each other that's how it would have been like, like oh so, no it's my turn like, yeah the- he was like this just it wouldn't have been like a good mm-hmm. like, yeah situation. Well, April knows what April wants to say so April <laughs> oh <gonna> my <laughs> did she talk like that like to you guys like in third person because like I don't think I, so. I don't oh, no. That, it was that so, was, that it was, was real for so sure. so apparent. Like, I was just like, talking. okay, but I was a like, lot of people did it. Zay did it. Jake did it. Like, really? I, Jake, yeah, I should have taken notes. Jake probably was yes, doing it because of April. Zay did it too. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it made awful. sense, but like April <laughs> did it all the time. And I was like, am I? Almost is every it, time. She's entertaining though. She knew exactly what she wanted. She's good for TV. She's really good for TV. I like that about her. Well, yeah. I felt like a little weird because I'm 33 and I relate to you a lot about like the kids thing a lot. And I was my own insecurity or whatever kind of came up with April. I'm like, why do you need to get married so bad? Like, why do you need kids so bad? You're so young. But I'm like, that's just me and my thing. Yeah. But like that was a lot for me to watch that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I think that it was funny because the age gap between me and some of the other girls was, I think, up to five years. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not in a rush to get married. I know I want to marry him, but it doesn't mm-hmm. need to happen. Like, immediately, I'd be happy if it did. But just seeing some people... Because if I was on the show when I was 24 or 25 years old, oh, I, no. I would have... No. No. Oh my God, I would yeah. have ruined myself. Yeah, I would so. have ruined my entire life's reputation. <laughs> oh yeah. For real. Yeah. Like, I, I just couldn't imagine. We like I wouldn't even live with my 23 year old self. <laughs> I wouldn't have chosen right? myself. Much less like a girl, April, who's 23 too. Like that's yeah. seven years different. Like again, yeah. I wouldn't live with myself, you know? Um, but going back to that night, right? Like the, the reaction, everything, one, mm-hmm. Um, it was played up, you guys. Don't worry. Everything's a lot different okay. in person than it is in reality TV, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely wasn't as intense <laughs> as they, you know, they they, they make it feel. Yeah. But um, honestly, uh, I, I think the the big reason for any type of alternate reaction compared to Hunter mm-hmm. um, and Alexis was you can't have two people propose in one night and have both of them a happy story why right? not yeah. it's reality tv because that's boring. the whole yeah. the whole concept is marry or move on exactly like, and a lot of people have actually brought that up i don't understand i I, I thought it was a race we did it first like what, yeah what's going on? <laughs> like well, and it's honestly like if we're really thinking about it like alexis and hunter kind of should have been like the you know there has to be a good team and a bad team like i don't know okay but here's the other thing about the alexis and hunter of it all is that like we're fast forwarding but like then at the reunion like who's the person that learned the least hunter's like nate <laughs> the fuck hunter you guys left nate. the same day they learned yeah. the yeah. same amount you technically left, you, you literally lit- left just of as all the people to yeah. like if it was anyone else fine hunter saying it, i was like i'm sorry well they make it same sound night. like you wrote into some entity and said i'm gonna issue my girlfriend an ultimatum and it's like mm-hmm. oh my god five no, people said the same it letter sounds like we should make a show out of it yeah. it sounds like they were like nate stole my thunder like he learned the least because he stole my thunder and again i'm like why are you the only one that's allowed to get engaged yeah marry mm-hmm. or move on like it's just yeah what i mean i don't know so, that was just the wild. funny thing is actually like hunter and alexis were so supportive like after so supportive. after we left the show nathan reached out and was like i just want to apologize if you feel like i rained on your parade or did xyz like hunter and alexis were the first people that nathan reached out to and we talk about this at the reunion too but i just don't think they wanted to paint us in any good light so <laughs> this all got cut but nathan actually explains he was like, you know, like I, I apologized to Hunter and Alexis and they were so nice and supportive about everything. And I do have this like itching feeling that the producers hated that. They oh, hated that they were being supportive of us because they wanted to see that like 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like, fuck these guys. They, like, you know, got engaged right after us. They ruined our day. I think they wanted that drama, but they didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah. That yeah. Makes so sense. I think a, a lot of that, I mean, you have to make something out of it, right? Mm-hmm. You have yeah. to do something for entertainment. But, yeah, Alexis and Hunter have been always... They'll, they'll say it by themselves, the first people to say, like, no, that didn't affect us at all. Like, we're happy for them. Mm-hmm. You know what oh, I mean? That's good. Um, and, and again, a, a lot of things you see in reality TV in general is you can ask everyone, make everyone answer a question 10 different times, 10 different ways over the mm-hmm. course of like 45 minutes and then only play a clip of, I mean, that's reality TV. So yeah. everyone needs to just have that perspective if they're watching something, you know, yeah. to, to know, like, Mm-hmm. You know, the storyline isn't always exactly what you're seeing. Yeah. I think we had that perspective. I, f- mm-hmm. I feel like I could, like, see through it. Well, I bit. I mean, okay. I'm laughing because, like, it was just, it was a comical thing to watch. Like, every time you were, like, <laughs> every time you were, like, I'm going to, like, pick so-and-so and then they pick someone else. I'm going to pick so-and-so, they pick someone else. And then you're, like, hey, I'm going to pick you. I'm, like, there is no way this all happened, like, <laughs> I mean, I'll, this, I'll, I'll just say, like, like check this. out, uh, check out my outfit changes that night. Oh, oh. we're not oh. even smart enough to oh. pick up on I'm that. I'm Houdini. Wore three different <sighs> outfit, outfits in one night. Oh, it also was Pretty very sick. annoying to watch the show with Paige because Paige was like so on your guys' side. The yeah, whole time. I was like standing like, you the <laughs> entire time, she was screaming over everything the whole time, and I was like, Paige, if we're gonna talk about this, let me see <laughs> yeah. what it is like. Like, let me just see it, what it, it is, and you can say it after. We can pause. And she's like, why aren't they even saying this thing? And I was like, all right. All right. So Paige was <laughs> always had your guys back. Well, Love it. Love so that. how did you feel whenever they tried to, like, make you feel, well, I thought they were trying to make you feel stupid for saying yes. Like, Colby was like, I don't know what he said, but he's like. What changed? Is this, yeah, sure? like, what changed? Like, is this. You don't what seem you, happy. Yeah. And yeah. first of all, nothing changed from. Mm-hmm show wise right story wise like nothing changed you're the one that said you're my family kids are not that was the thing and then they were putting it on you like yeah that like are you are you just saying yes because you're being proposed to or like what like why what changed not how did that make you feel i was treading very lightly um keep in mind we got to this hotel to start filming the scene like when the sun was still up it was probably seven o'clock or something and they they stopped filming at 1 a.m oh my god so how y'all think that these things are happening like they're like oh nathan was just telling madeline this 10 seconds before i'm like you guys we were sitting at that table for hours on end (laughs) a lot changed within that time frame Mm -hmm. um but yeah it was it was shitty and i I, I don't react based off of my emotions as easily as Nathan does. And so I was trying to just stay and like stay as calm as possible and not let them get to me. And I wish that it would have been shown, but I was laughing so much. I was just so mad. I was cracking up and couldn't even take it seriously. It was hard for me to take it all seriously because I knew that there needed to be drama. And so mm-hmm. people were stirring the pot to, mm-hmm. to create drama so it was just kind of hard for me to take seriously. I was like, you guys literally just met us a week ago and y'all have all these things to say about our relationship. And I felt like I was so respectful to every single cast member mm-hmm. throughout the entire show. It shows. Yeah. And I just didn't get that same respect, I felt like. Um, but I am really proud of like the way that I handled it. I think that mm-hmm. I could have said a lot more. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I wasn't 29, whenever I was on that show, I would have said a lot more. So yeah. yeah. Well, It sucked. I feel like they didn't show you that much. Like, we didn't have, like, that much, like, one-on-one time. Because I also feel like you're the most, like, relatable person on the show. And you're, like, the number one girl. Like, oh, no, she's just normal. Yeah, okay. So, talking about that, how do you feel about the reaction to your ass? I love it. The internet was like, (laughs) oh, my God, Lauren's ass is amazing. (laughs) Okay, I said the same thing, too, though. I was like, did you see her? Ass. I was, I was on like, the phone it's with Paige. perfect. Paige is like, Lauren's ass is really good. And I was like, oh my God, I'm actually on that scene right now. It is amazing. <laughs> it's funny because so Ray's butt doesn't get shown as much as I feel like it deserved to. Ray has, I always like 
during the short time I was on there, I was like, Ray has like the best ass ever. And I think just because I wore like a thong bikini. As you should have. Obviously, they're like, hell yeah, let's let's show this. Yeah. And so um, I kind of walked into that. Oh, they were very <laughs> bachelor ass the whole entire time. They were in our like room, like her getting ready and just they're on recording <laughs> yeah. her ass like as she getting ready it's there like, were oh, a wow. lot of mm -hmm. ass but, cam yeah and i was just kind of there for it i was like i'm i all i don't own a pg-13 swimsuit all of my bikinis are just kind of thongy so i was yeah. like whatever like mm -hmm. if they want to put my ass on tv go ahead i guess yeah sorry no, dad <laughs> like after we first watched the show like and we're like you know i'm i'm dying of course i'm like oh my god you know? <laughs> um and then we're talking about it you know lauren's like well at least my ass looks good and you yeah. look hot. Like, it's great. So, I guess that's How did point. you feel about everyone liking her ass? I I love it. I love it. It's a flex yeah. for, sure. for sure. Like, that's I mean, my ass. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. That's so funny. Yeah, everyone's like, Nathan's like the most jealous guy I've ever seen in the entire world. I'm like, if he was, then he would not be eating up this whole, like, butt paparazzi thing. Oh, yeah, all about thing. it. Yeah. He's not, he's not as jealous as people think. I didn't get the jealous thing at all. Mm -hmm. well, really? No. They made it seem like that that you, if you were going to be with Colby, he would rather like, I don't even care about the ultimatum. I'm going to propose right now because yep. I can't stand to see her with another guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get why people would say that, but that just wasn't yeah. the case. They try to make it seem like everything. They're like, let's make Nathan like insecure and also jealous, but also like he's missing out on some other girls. Like let's try to combine everything. <laughs> In this hodgepodge i know yeah. it was so frustrating the the scenes where you see nathan like throwing his hands up and being like well i guess it's something with me <laughs> the the funniest part about those clips is there's no context and they like mm. to have context they'll make you like answer their so instead of nathan saying i don't know what's wrong with me shanique picked zay i'm so upset you don't get that context you just mm. see this him throwing and flailing his arms and looking upset and it's pieced together right next to that scene. So they're just hoping that the audience just thinks that's his actual reaction. But yeah. mm -hmm. he wasn't upset at all. <laughs> no, no. I would be. He's like, that's fine. I would so be Shanique so happy I dodged a bullet not having to live with someone else for three weeks. Because it's not just like living with someone else. You guys were, they were like in a hotel room, right? Oh, yeah. yeah it bedroom, was like a hotel. one bedroom. Uh, yeah. There was a couch. You could sleep on the couch, but oh, it was no. like <gasps> highly it's just a small recommended space. that mm -hmm. you sleep together. And mm -hmm. it's so crazy how like you go from being with somebody who you want to marry to like sle sleeping in bed with somebody else. I would feel so uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. oh, my gosh. I. Oh, yeah, no, it, that I think that was giving me the most anxiety. I was like, I don't want to sleep in bed with someone I just met. Yeah. But some people jumped right in and they were like, we're going to cuddle and we're going to get boners while we're cuddling. And <laughs> <laughs> Oops, boner. <laughs> that what are we going to do so about funny. it? When Ray was like, oh, we're cuddling. Uh, are you going to get a boner like you did with Shanique? No. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, okay, so about your other castmates, like who are you guys closest with? now we so for the past two weekends we've hung out with Shanique and Randall and then Ray lives in Houston right now but she came back in town for this launch party we did last weekend so mm -hmm. and Jake we and, hang out with Jake and Jake also too. we've hung out with Jake a few mm -hmm. times the past two weekends also so yeah Shanique and uh Randall and Jake and Ray mm -hmm. we're definitely the closest with is who we're the closest with and everyone else lives kind of elsewhere or is back and forth and so mm -hmm. those are definitely the four that we spend the most time with and talk to okay and because you guys are in austin but is mm -hmm. everyone else did everyone else live in austin at the time at the time yeah at the oh, time, okay yeah yeah but then alexis is now in la yeah alexis, yeah. alexis and hunter, and hunter are in la they have family out there too so. is alexis from dallas you just think she looks like she <laughs> She's gives me Dallas I, she went vibes. To, I, I yeah. think she went to SMU. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Gosh, See? you were right. I'm, she's yeah. Dallas vibe. Oh, yeah. Sure. No, I I think I've actually told her that before, too. Yeah, she she definitely gives Dallas energy. I yeah. have some family members that live in Dallas, so yeah. I, like, recognized that, too. You you can spot Dallas energy right away. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> You're brilliant. I am so brilliant. Um, okay, also, like, I love your guys' balance of energy. Like, obviously, 
Nate's like, you know, high energy. You're like the calm force. What is your guys' astrological signs? People are gonna hate that I ask oh, this. No, she's so into. You are. Yeah, she, I'm okay. A big astrology. How deep you want to go? Oh, how deep I, wanna I, go? I, I want how many moons back do we go? Okay, you kind of give me a water sign vibe, like cool and like calm. Which, well, I guess that's interesting because like my Pisces. rising sign is a Cancer. Okay. So maybe because your rising sign is kind of like the first impression people get of you. Yeah. So I have a Cancer rising, but. Um, my sun sign is an Aquarius. Nathan's oh, okay. sun sign is a Virgo. <gasps> okay. Um, and but my moon sign is a Virgo. So oh. Nathan kind of like speaks like to my like emotional and loving side. So yeah. oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I love that. I don't know how deep y'all want to go into that. Either, oh, I mean, I'm, like, I love astrology it. Nerd. They're Aquarius. <laughs> Oh, and y'all I'm are a both Libra. Y'all are both Aquarius. Yeah, our whole family's Aquarius. Mom, both Not grandmas, dad. and them. Our oh dad's an Aries, so like fire yeah but I i'll be that. talking about something jade's like hold on let me check something okay well your moon is in this and you're feeling this well, you type both of way have aquarius and taurus and your big three which is oh, like i'm also a scorpio and you have Scor- i have scorpio too which i love that's my like well i love that y'all are all air sign we're all air signs here except for nathan oh, sorry <laughs> what's mine again what's virgo virgo's what's earth earth yeah we need you to ground us because yeah. we're air I'm, I'm the ground yeah yeah we're like <laughs> we'll go off i like the the earth to ground well you know a lot of people so um uh shake and deep from love is blind too mm-hmm. they were also deep was a or deep was an aquarius like me and shake was virgo like nathan so i think when a lot of people saw that like that was our two signs also they were like oh this is gonna go <laughs> real <laughs> bad yeah this is really just gonna go downhill <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people don't look into the other aspects of it. And my moon sign being in Virgo like mm-hmm. makes us. And his moon sign is a Gemini, which is very compatible with um, Aquarius also. So oh. it, it kind of cross balances out. Okay, yeah. nice. I love that. <laughs> Wait, so do you guys? So since you're in like Love Is Blind and the Ultimatum is kind of like a little family, right? Or like kind of connected in a way, or no? Yeah, I mean, I mean same production. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So the Nick. And Vanessa Lachey of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, do you guys, have you met anyone from Love is Blind? No, I'm sure if we moved to um, LA, we we probably would. I think some of the other cast members have, have, have met with some of the love is blind well i think they've done uh, so like lauren and cameron from season one i know that some of the girls have d- been on their podcast oh, okay. um i don't know if they've met them because i think mm. they live in atlanta or la or something because mm-hmm. actually yeah and did you know that the third season's gonna be in dallas <gasps> it is yeah, the third oh, season was filmed in dallas yeah oh my gosh oh my i feel God. like dallas is like just full of people that would be great on reality TV. oh yeah i completely agree oh my gosh that's really good well i do love love is blind and i'm that that is why i watched the ultimatum because like i'm we're finishing it's like before work we're finishing like the last episode of love is blind and then your face pops up i was like (laughs) i was like i i i know him and bailey was like no you don't and i actually texted two of my friends that worked at work at indeed and i was like guys is nate on this show and they were like no way (laughs) And then I was like, go to the end of the show. I swear it's him. Sure as shit, it was you. Sure as shit. So I was like, I have got to watch the show. And I'm glad I did. I'm surprised that it got kept under wraps like the way that it did because Austin is just like stuff spreads like wildfire yeah. here. And so I'm surprised that more people hadn't found out about it already. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I didn't even know it was in Austin from that clip, the preview clip. And also I didn't know it was going to be such a like crazy concept from, I feel like they underplayed oh that show, like the well, show. I Back didn't even understand. <laughs> like I was like, what's going to happen next? Like where are they going to go? Because they never said like, okay, in a little bit, they're going to choose who they're going to live with for three mm-hmm. weeks. So I was like, live what? with? And then what? they're like, now we're going to go back to your original couples for three weeks. And I was like, yeah. on the edge of my seat because I, <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen. Guys, it was nuts. I was like crying on the bathroom floor. And that, the bathroom was the only place that didn't have a camera in it. Oh, so God. it was like every night I was like crying, telling Nathan, what did we do? I want to get out of here. Oh, and he God. told me two days before proposing that he wanted to he was like I'm just gonna propose to you and let's get out of here and I was like you cannot do that you're gonna piss off the producers oh my god you cannot do that (laughs) and he was like just wait um so yeah it was it was 
a actually pretty traumatic experience I think for both of us and a lot of um, our cast members are like I just wish I would have stayed on longer and I'm like guys you saw what they did to you guys yeah, like yeah. I guess so glad I, I think so too for sure yeah. well, and I love your response to the proposal absolutely yeah. Yeah. I was like please get me out of here <laughs> let's go okay so wrap it up. I want to say well I just have another question okay. um because I'm 33 and I feel like a lot of people have like a weird reaction to you talking about the kid thing because yeah. I'm not so sure I want to have kids it's not like a hard no but it's like why is it weird that a woman is like hesitant about bringing kids into the world yeah I've got such good um like really really positive feedback from a mm-hmm. lot of women for this um but yeah, I, I think a lot of people were like, you you didn't want kids and now you do. And I was like, it wasn't that I didn't want kids. I, I just, I needed to be 100% on board. And mm-hmm. I wasn't, I was on the fence. It wasn't a hard yes or a hard no. I even said that on one of my dates with Colby. I was like, I wouldn't be here if I was a hard yes or a hard no. Um, but yeah, I, I've got such good feedback from so many women who are like, it's so refreshing to see somebody, especially someone who's 30, mm-hmm. not being fully convinced that they want to be a mom one day so I think it was really refreshing for a lot of people to hear but there's also like you know the negative side Mm -hmm. of it all too um and especially people thinking that I was like faking it saying oh you just randomly changed your mind after the show ended and I was like we had to work through that yeah like we just did it off of camera and so I think that a lot of people think because we didn't do it on camera that it was it was fake but and it you was like talked about that you were gonna do it off yeah. camera and then at the reunion you said yeah we like went to therapy and we figured it out and this was what mm-hmm. we decided was best for us yeah. what makes yeah. us happy and for but, some people people like for some reason that was just so illegitimate mm-hmm. to a lot well, of people because why was you guys living with someone else gonna all of a sudden make you be like you know what thank you kids Exactly. I would like a kid. I mean, like, honestly, that's, like that's like, not the she, thing. She, she was gonna be with Colby. Think about this. Like Colby says that night, like, "Hey, look, like I don't need kids. I think I can, like, you know, I think that's why we're great." All he said, "I like, don't need th- kids yet. I can wait for you. I can wait yeah. for something you. like that." And I'm can, like, "That's too I can much wait point. for you." And then, and then hit, boom, Madeline's baby. pregnant yeah. two months after filming. <laughs> it's like, how long can you wait? Like, I was months? trying to do the math well, on that too because I was like, "Was she pregnant on the show? She wasn't pregnant. That why they got married on the same day? Okay." No, a lot of people think that, but I mean, we finished filming, uh, Nathan and I left the show a year ago, so I think they finished filming around like May, May something, yeah, May something, something. Like and so she's still pregnant, She's she hasn't even had her baby yet, so that oh, timeline never. doesn't really add up, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, again, it was just like the the issue that you guys had like was not going to be solved by like switching partners it was no, like it was only not. something that you guys mm-hmm. could like which discuss also, together how dare people say that you're stupid and you just like caved or whatever when you're the one that's like standing strong you're yes. the one saying like this is something that i think is going to be important and like this is something that i want to make sure that we work through together and that you guys knew that you could and you mm-hmm. were going to figure it out and then they're like oh, no 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 yeah she exactly. just caved babies yeah, like- are a big deal and I was being honest by going on and saying hey like I'm having like hesitation about this whole being a mom thing and then people are like oh you just randomly changed your mind I was like guys that was the whole point of like coming on the show it was like to figure that out yeah yeah Yeah. and work on it isn't that like what we're supposed to do as people exactly yeah Yeah. Yeah. like solve your problems And, and it's not like a so that that's the things that we get to so one is you know I've heard a lot of people say like well you're faking it because you gave the ultimatum. So then you just rescinded the ultimatum. It's like, look, it's not like I give an ultimatum, either I'm 100% right or we're never going to be together again. It's like, just because you give an ultimatum doesn't mean that you can't learn from it too. Like you tell Mm -hmm. someone something like, okay, you can never go back on that now. Like, no, like it's both of us. And also the other thing that um, like I'm happy to take, not happy, um, (laughs) I would prefer that if there's any backlash or any hate, like I'll take it. Like, mm-hmm. come on, bring it on. All you want to say, come on. Yeah. Um, but the thing that I get upset about that people don't take credit for is Lauren's a very, like Lauren does not do something she doesn't want to do. 
ever. Mm -hmm. Like if she, if she feels some type of way, she's going to tell you if she doesn't want to do something, she's going to make her choices. She's not going to let anyone influence that ever. Mm -hmm. Not even for me, not for anyone. Right. So like I was kind of getting upset about why is no one giving her credit? Like that she's an adult. She can make a choice by herself. She's more than happy to just tell me no. if She felt no. You know what yeah. I mean? She's like, not like a lady in waiting that's like, yeah. okay, like. Whatever she whatever. says. Like, and no, again, you know because I mean? with what you said was like, you are my family with or without kids. Yeah. yeah. And that was the only issue, again, issue, that was like on the table, right? So you were the one that said like, with or without kids, like, you are my person. Like, that's never been a question. Like, the question of, like, do we love each other? Like, that's never been it. So it's, mm -hmm. like, for any backlash on you to be, like, you change your mind. Change your mind about what? Are you kidding me? Buzz like, off. Exactly. Buzz <laughs> off. <laughs> We're adults. Adults are allowed to change their minds. Um, but the thing was, my mind wasn't made up. People are acting like I was, like, I don't want kids. And then I was, like, now I will have a kid. It was, <laughs> that's not what happened. It was My mind wasn't made up. So, yeah. Yeah, people are crazy. Well, let's just end it on a couple Austin questions because, you know, sure. we're all Austin girlies yeah. here and boysies. Yep. <laughs> boysies. <laughs> boysies. Um, okay, so let's talk about, like, the best date spots in Austin. What do you guys suggest? Yeah, what's your favorite date spot? Um, the first date that I brought Lauren on. Um, Where was that? We, Uchi. Uchi and Ooh. Uchi Co. Ooh. You get it during happy so hour. That's the, that's the yeah. key. Like, you do that, like, four do to six hour. period. Yep. That is, like... Oh. Prime. If somebody takes me on a first date to Uchi, like mm -hmm. that's I had to impress. I was it's, like, oh, yeah. I gotta do something. We good. love sushi. We are big sushi people. I'm a so. sushi girl. Oh, yeah. I haven't been we to Uchi are. yet. I'm so. But, oh, I would go to so Uchi good. Ko. Go to Uchi Ko. It's a little bit. Um, how would you describe more it? Modern. More, like, modern. more maybe like more modern. Yeah. Okay. Uchi Ko's mm -hmm. a little bit like both are looking. fantastic. They're both amazing. amazing. No, you can't go wrong with either. So we okay. do love that. Uchi Ko and Uchi. Yeah, you gotta go. And they're happy hour. Make sure you go during happy hour. And what do you guys think, like, one of the best thing about Austin is? I know you guys probably not don't want to tell anyone because then people are going to start <laughs> moving here. <laughs> right. Um, honestly, I like that there's outdoor things to do here. We lived mm -hmm. in Houston for a year and a half, and it was – there was just – not much that we could do outside and we really missed that about Austin we're happy when we came back it's like mm -hmm. an adventurous city yeah and I feel like everyone else like people here are adventurous for sure oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's just so much here. so so much to do outside the to where lake, it's not the trail Houston like for us it was like all right we're gonna go to a restaurant or we're gonna go to like a bar you know that's yep. gonna be mm -hmm. what we do mm -hmm. here it's just like you have so many options and I feel like a lot of other cities are so spread out. It's like, there's all this stuff way over here. Austin's just like, we decided to grow like this tight, like yeah. just a very small circle, slowly expanding, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so everything's close by. Uh, traffic sucks, but besides yeah. that. Yeah. Not as bad as California. But... Oh, I know. We have nothing <laughs> Thank on. Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, Thank God. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. You guys have Thank been you guys so, so delightful. And I am so happy you guys came on. And I feel like people are going to like really see like the full story with you guys. I hope. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think you guys are like a – just being in your guys' presence, you guys just seem like a little puzzle. Like you just fit. <laughs> oh, you guys you. are the strongest couple. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone team needs to Nate know that. Team Nate and Lauren. <laughs> I've been yes, team please. Nate and Lauren since day one. And I was like, they're the <laughs> And so whenever you proposed, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then there was like well, the backlash. That. I was like, what the? How do they not see it? So yeah. I'm. Yeah. I think, I'm, well, I think because you, you know me. But again, everyone gets to, to judge off of the impression that they see, right? Yeah. And yeah. however something is made out, like everyone just needs to know, like you're seeing uh, 30 in total time, 30 minutes of us. And we've been in a relationship for three and a half years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't, don't judge it that too quick but but we also get it i yeah, think that yeah. it's important for people to know that like we understand why people are saying the things they are because mm -hmm. if you haven't been on a reality tv show before you don't know all the ins and outs and the behind the scenes stuff and the way that editing and stuff works so i don't blame people for judging us it's just the hate like people mm. need it's Going on reality tv is not an excuse for you to bash strangers on the internet it's yeah just not. yeah so for no. sure yeah but I mean, I think if anything, like we're maybe the only couple ever that has like experienced this and grown through it together, you know, like yeah. who, who has a proposal that gets called out that gets <laughs> shitted on by, you know, millions of people so and bad, then stay together, so you know, so it only makes us stronger. Yeah. yeah. 
But at least you have it to look at all the time. So yeah. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, do you guys want to like put your social handles out there for yeah. people to follow? Yeah. Uh, mine is uh, at Lauren Kilos, K-I-L-O-S. Mine's just Nathan Ruggles, but there's an underscore in between Nathan and Nathan Ruggles. underscore Ruggles. <laughs> and Ruggles has two Gs. It does have Gs. Like Snuggles. Yeah, yeah like exactly. Snuggles. Or like, R. Yeah. <laughs> or like Ruffles with a G instead of Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Do you want to say it or do you want me to? <clears throat> Thank you so much for listening to your poor dad. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she speaks. The left girl speaks. Left girl, keep going. Look, we're startling her. She's getting nervous. (laughs) Who gets so nervous? (laughs) Um, Thank you again to Lauren and Nate for being on the show. Um, Follow us on Instagram at yourpoordadpod. Um, Send us an email if you want. I can read the emails. It's the only thing I can do. Yourpoordadpod at gmail.com. Or just yourpoordad. Yourpoordad at gmail.com. Send us an email next week. Send me an email. Yes. Will we... uh, Sorry. I'm I'm literally... (laughs) shocked that she spoke next week we will actually discuss the stories the like crazy drunk stories or like embarrassing drunk yeah. stories so please send your stories to your poor dad at gmail.com yeah. or, or um, you can just dm us i've seen a lot of dms coming in and i'm so excited to read them because like you guys are our people and just to remind you guys we're the fourth sister we're not gonna judge you we're gonna you're be- the fourth sister you what they are the fourth yeah you yeah, you're guys. the fourth sister i'm pointing to the imaginary audience you said yeah. we were oh well you we're guys, third. you're my first first second, and, and second i'm the third they're the fourth and um yeah so we're, we're never gonna judge but we're gonna be here as your sister like that was pretty fucked up but like guess what we can recover and we can move on from this and we're gonna so. be here again next week yeah so and we've got this together so and also most importantly we need to get our poor dad to soldier feet. Yeah, Holy the shit. Love of God. Get <laughs> our poor dad to soldier feet. Guys, every week it's closer you guys to football have to season. Because we forget. It's closer to football <laughs> season. We need to get our poor dad to soldier field for a bears football game to mm. specify for oh, some yeah, of you out there. We had somebody the buy our asses. poor dad um soldier field tickets for their soccer team and it was a seven dollar ticket and that's not really what we're looking for we're Mm -mm. to be honest we're looking for the chicago bears uh this poor guy has been your fan for uh ever and so and he had like please we do not need him to buy (laughs) another blanket another shirt shirt, uh, another suit he more pajamas, flags that he'll just drape over our couch. Pool balls, uh, beer, beer tap, tap, beer tap uh, handles. Light. Yeah, the man has everything. He just needs to go see a game in real life. So get yeah. our poor dad to Soldier Field. And it was his birthday I yesterday. Know. Yeah, uh, happy birthday, Dad! Happy Hi, birthday, Dad! dad. All right. All right. All right. All right.